What is up, guys? It's Arsenal here. How is everyone doing in quarantine? How about doing great? Good, good, good. I welcome to do a voiceover this episode, but then I fear I sense, you know, I can't really go nowhere. I might as well just chill with you guys. So today on Still Don't Only My Kashi's So our Soul Journey, we have been doing great so far. The deck has been turned into a very cool deck. And on top of that, we now have some more cards to open up. We got two Code of Duelists, four, five. And this is an assault because lightning storm is the card I want. And then we have two special editions, Flames of Destruction and Soul Fusions. Yes. Rounds up our total today of. I keep spending $37 and $38 dollars like on the dot. I'm trying so hard to stand there for you. But yeah, I'm, pre I'm feeling pretty good with the budget. So yeah, I fly, I'm, I'm glad I changed it to 40 from 30 So let's go open these packs. You all know what we're looking for, right? So, and, so we're going to open up the um, special editions because we'll do that. Put these right here with special editions because you know we still looking for danger cards and chaos 11 year dragon because no i have an idea i have a feeling i might end up making a deck um either 40 or 40 40 40 50 card deck because i can just use have bodies on this field so let's look at this out Oh, actually, what's the promos in here again? I actually don't care about the promos. So we're going to do these packs first. We're going to open this ahead of time. We're playing the Destruction Special. Because you know, in playing the Destruction, we're looking for a suck, suck, suck. That vampire card. We're looking for that thing. All right, that's what I'm looking for. Let's see what we get out of this one. All right, open those next. All right, all that. So let's see, what promo cards do we get? We got. Oh, cool. We got. Got. Grand Soul, the Elemental Lord, that's kind of cool. Prank Kids, and another band card, Summon Sorcerer. Oh, cool. And Universal Adapter. So we got those, so don't need those. So let's go ahead and open up these Soul Fusions. All right. What are we looking for? Actually, I'm going to move my mic real quick, a little bit closer. There we go. That's better. That's what I want. So, during our beautiful quarantine session over here, if y'all haven't seen the update video, I recommend go watch it because, you know, I am stuck. I'm not stuck inside. So for those who don't notice, I do work in retail. So let's do them all. Separate the oh, rares and stuff like that. And commons right here. So you guys see. Get, there we go. I am stuck in retail. So I work. I'm an essential. So I work every day because I have to. Uh, no, we still get, I work, so I work every day in retail, but kind of sucks in a way, because, you know, I kind of want to stay home, and just, like, stream and stuff like that, and play games, and, like, you know, just relax with you guys if I could, but sadly, I cannot do that, so, yes, we got one, again, danger, danger, so that's another danger mothman, I can add it to the deck, for sure, and, that's all the danger we got. So we got, we did pretty good. We got, we got, at least we got one danger. Open up these flames of destruction. Hope we get the vampire. I don't know the money cards in this one. So if I miss it, I'll just add it in. Elemental Lord, F.A. Don Dracker. Nope. But the fact that I have to work. Is this common? Oh, I have seen so many hollers. That was the uh, hollow. Um, I, so I, since I work in retail, I have to go work, you know, a lot sucks because I would love to stay home but I hope you guys are doing safe you know hope you guys are doing like you know fantastic staying out of danger you know hope you guys have toilet paper because you know that's because you know everyone's running alone on toilet paper for no reason look like I already had them because you know rainbow oh that's a cool card rainbow reflection uh, goki face turn that's how cool I like that card was cool Elemental Lord, oh, pretty cool. Hmm. Well, that's all. So, nothing out of the flame destruction packs. Ah, so, so far we just got one card we need. Next, we're hopping to Code and the Duelist. Let's see if we get anything good out of this pack. Um, I don't know why, but I feel like since the whole outbreak is upside down, that outbreak we've just been waiting for, you know, the Vendra Hound. It's a pretty cool card. DD High King. The fact that. I just realized I told my friend, coworkers like, you realize that people are just now starting to wash their wash their hands and wipe their butt. 
So I was like, wow, this whole time, you know, I have not realized that it's the problem now. So let's see. You know what's funny? In this set, we're actually looking for a basic common card. I can't seem to get that one basic common card out of this set whatsoever. How many packs have we opened so far for Code of Duelist? Quite a lot. And I just need a basic common out of it. Not even joking. It's just a normal, I think it's um, back to the front. Just so I can do stuff on on their turn. So, oh god, this is gonna be a sad deck update at this rate. We only, we only have one card to add to the deck, which I already know I'm taking out for it, just so I can have more. I know some of the danger cards, so from the April ban list, like no, Tsuchinoko and um, Jackal are no longer going to be able to be played. So, all right, let's see the initial assault. Did we get anything good? Kukuri, Plunder, Patrol Booty. Yeah. The card was actually pretty useful. I, I think about it, I might not put that back, but it was pretty useful at one point. All these common cards. Uh, a couple more packs of left open. Oh, I said, how did I do that? All right, who else? That's messed that up. Uh, finished your portrait and Megalith. I don't, hmm, I can't read that. I can't say that. Boom. So question, yeah, question down below comment, can you guys tell me what like, the coolest things you guys have been doing so far? Is you actually quarantined or are you stuck anywhere inside right now? Like, like what do you guys do? Like, you know how I feel right now, really? Because the fact that after I find a card shop to play Yu-Gi-Oh at, I can't go to it. Uh, these are just... I feel like my luck is starting to run out of these packs. I'm slowly realizing that my RNG is going out the window. Just for myself. I'm not getting anything I need out of this. Kukuri and... Uh, hmm... This is for generators. I forgot. That's right, generators. I kind of want to make this deck. They just look cool, you know. I like the game, so. Oh, no. This is going to be a sad. The last pack, guys. Can we get something I can use? The last. All right. Sweet Knight. AI Ritual. Charge up. Something, gravity controller. Ooh, Ignister AI Island. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. At least you got like a money card, but other than that, that's cool. And then, oh, it's a fire and Phoenix Ignister. Cool. So, we have, I'm gonna put that in the sleeve and just put that into the actual money binder. So, we only got one card, so I'm not even gonna like actually edit all of this out. We're just gonna, I'm gonna show you guys just what we're gonna do real quick. So I'm gonna just put these right here. I'm not gonna really move stuff out the way. I put that in the sleeve. All these common cards. So we just gonna have one. So I'm gonna grab the death block first. It kind of sucks. I really wish I would have got at least a few more danger cards. At least one more Mothman would be good. So let's go ahead and just update the deck in like five seconds because we only have. So I already know what I'm going to take out, just so I can... Actually, you know what? Can I really take out what I want to take out? Yeah, I'm slowly going to, so I'm slowly going to get rid of the Samurai Skulls, because I don't actually like the effect that much I thought I would. And it's pretty cool, but I can't extend off this like I thought I could. Because the only zombies I want to dump into the graveyard, like, if I draw into this, would possibly be, like, what... It has this, um, so when a card is normal summon, you can send one zombie monster from your deck to your graveyard. If this face of card is under control, leaves the field because of opponent's card effect. It's supposed to be one level four or lower zombie monster from your deck. So, with the my caution, which is basically a deck where you, so far, just been playing it, you want to constantly throw your synchros in the graveyard, but then bring them back. This card allows me to dump cards from the deck to the graveyard. So, the thing is, though, the only Mayakashis you really want in the graveyard that are, like, you know, you use from the graveyard is probably the Graceful, um, where is he? Poison you want to put in the graveyard, because you, if you lose any of their Mayakashis on the field, 
it comes comes something back from the graveyard. So you want stuff like that. Oh, and Yuki. Yuki does the same thing, I believe. She also comes back from the graveyard as special summon. You can show my cards card are in Yuki. The ice Mayakashi, while there's cards in your hand, or graveyard, you can special summon this card. So basically, it's like these kind of like work with each other while in the graveyard, but only if you have a Mayakashi. Where's my other poisons at? Where's my poisons at? If only you have that in the graveyard. If I wanted to set up like zombie world combo, I can do that with Skull, but then it's like that's my only like play with. Am I just dumb? Yes, I can hear this that can actually do anything with this card. But at the time right now it works well with if I need, or if I go second and draw into it, it makes it helps in a way. Like if I'm going like after first turn, I set up a board and he goes and I go, then I have this and play that, that can just dump, like, you know, where's my Doom King? I just dumped that in the graveyard, but okay, well this is in the graveyard for this turn and then switch over. So I figured out that I don't want this just cause it's, it's I can't stand off of it. That's basically what it is. Like, I, I, I get this, I, I drew this through Logical Pro one too many times in my first hand. And I was just like, can I use this right now? And I play it, and I'm like, oh, I can't do nothing with you. Because you can't really, you only dump like one card in my graveyard, and you know, that's it. Unlike when you Synchro Summons um, Poison back, you can dump three. Hopefully, you can mill, like, you know anything good and if with zombie roll i can also mill his deck so his deck his graveyard is also zombie i can use his stuff so it makes sense in a way but for this for now i'm oh i'm gonna always check out as we get more dangers to help us dig into the deck which is a lot better in my opinion i will always just replace the summon skull so we get one more samurai skull to get rid of for now but it helps a lot but i don't know if i want to add anything besides that because also again, it's, it's a chance to mill. Because I need to get another structure deck for a set three of these, so I can have the entire graveyard combo way for um, the my Because if you remember, the, the goal of my is to get them back from the graveyard and then just break a board. Because you know the best. I think out of all the cards I like the most when it comes to the my just in general, I like the wing my if the card is special from the guard, destroy one spell or trap card your opponent can control. Just get rid of back row really easily. You know, or Mystic Mind. Anything that gets the annoyance can once it's special summon. I think on summon you can do that. It doesn't say targeting, like in specifically. So I'm pretty sure if you special summon from the guard, it affects automatically kick off. So if I'm trying my best, and this one is, and then the Skull of Mayakashi, is the card special summon from the graveyard, you can activate the effect this turn. Face up, non effect cards. But this turn, face-up cards are unaffected by card effects. So you're like really cool card, especially the graceful one. Just do really destroy a opponent's monster. If I have a problem, there's a huge monster on the grill in the field. Just special summon this from the graveyard. Boom, pop it. Now I have a three, a 29k B stick. I mean, a 2900 B stick on the field. And then the poison makes me mill the deck. So if I have to, if I could mill any of the my cards that I can get in the graveyard. And I can also extend more plays off that. Remember, this is special summon if I don't, if I special summon this from graveyard because I control my Akashi. And this one allows me if I destroy this one, I can you know destroy it, special summon it. And if I synchro summon or anything like that, I can also get this back from my from the graveyard and constantly make more my Akashis on the field. So I think the best solution. This is I believe the um look my Akashi. And I uh, yeah, basically like the one that you if I have a board where I can just make it where you can't it's just, mm, I keep saying I want to make this deck going first and then it goes second and then have and make them have a board keck because like the trap cards work super well but you have to go first and just dump everything and then when they on their turn they start building the board then as they're building break it as they build it so far how I feel like the deck works well because I want because I want people to play like those spell cards I want you to put a flow card that you need I'm going to just you know, activate trap card bring this back from Gary or summon pop your trap Chart your field cards. Now you can't do your field card. So yeah, you know stuff like that. But that's how my mindset goes. I do need to update the extra deck though, because let's be real. I saw what's in Dual Overload. I want that my Akashi trap card, and I want the new link. I need that new link card because she's pretty. I want it in my deck. So I'm gonna be opening those since I work at retail, and I can't go to a card shop because you no know, locals. The locals I was gonna go to is super far out, but 
I is this quick easy bus right there and back. But because of the whole pandemic thing, I can't actually take the bus there as much anymore because they're changing the schedules. So I'm just gonna buy a box at my job. It costs so much stuff. So you won't look, don't look forward to open. I'll be opening up that and plus something else that's wherever I have left. I can get my hands on at, the, at my job, hopefully. So without further ado, that's the be a new deck update. So we're gonna hop into YG Go, and we're gonna play with our new danger card we just added. And I might actually re-edit the deck actually right now. Should I re-edit the deck? And what do you guys think? Should I get rid of? Let's see, do I even have the side deck cards? Where I put the side deck cards at? Okay, I want to make sure. Uh, that's not it. That's not it. I don't know where I put them. I'll find them in a second. But we're going to probably change out some of these cards anyways. So I might get rid of the other one for Crackdown. Can we pull the Crackdown from um, Dark Neostrom? So I might add Crackdown into this. So let's go ahead and jump into YG Go Pro and... Play some rounds and see who we get. We're gonna probably play a couple more. I make it a little bit longer. So we're gonna make, play a couple more rounds, all right? So let's go.
Hey, what's up? So, like, that was terrible. Honestly, I feel like I kept misplaying a lot during these two, last two games. The first game was cool. I felt a little depressed a little bit after losing two games. I feel like I, I misplayed so much throughout this whole thing. And I realized that there was some stuff I should have did and I didn't do it. So, I'm going to do a little bit tweaking to the deck and size out some stuff so I can fix it a little bit better. But, yeah. I'm sorry for that dumb game. They were like really bad, like really bad, like super bad. Like I didn't like them. I felt so upset that I messed up so much that I actually played another game after this. And I, I built the board so big that I was just like, oh, this is what I should have did the first few times. I don't know why I didn't do it the first time. Cause I was just upset myself for messing up. But that, that part won't be added because, you know, I do three games, a video, try best to get a win streak, three wins. I don't care if I lose or lose or lose. Before you'll see my loot, my losses. I will post those too. I want y'all to see everything I'm doing while I'm playing the game. And if y'all think I should do something better, let me know. That's like, you know, that's why I have you guys here to help me out with this. It's been fun though. Like it's been great fun doing this little series. I love Nib Nib. I'm glad he started this whole series. I've been watching everybody else's. So journeys too, there's a lot of people I've been watching. Just to see, you know, learn from them too as well, stuff like that. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching the video. I will see you guys in the next one soon. Well, not soon, next end of the week. But there's some content coming up between this and the next video and then the video after that for Yu-Gi-Oh stuff and then non-Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. But yeah, look, like the comment, like guys, comment on the video, all your cool stuff you guys want to see, you know, with the with this you no know, deck editing for me. Also, you know, hit that notification bell because I'm probably posting more stuff soon. And yeah, I see y'all in the next video. Peace. Thank you.